subscribe to techno review to get all kinds of tech news and press the bell icon to get notified for our future uploads so as Redmi Note 3 has finally got the MIUI 10 Android 7.0 Nougat update and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the update and also how MIUI 10 runs on our Redmi Note 3. But before that make sure to follow us on Instagram, links will be provided down below in the description box. My name is Abhishek, you're watching Tech Now Review, let's get started. guys before getting into the installation and also how redmi note 3 handles the mi ui 10 update i would like to let you know that this rom is ported from mi max but the good news is there is no bugs which you can find on this rom yes there are one or two bugs but those are minor bugs and it won't make a difference in using this rom as your daily driver so beforehand i would like to let you know that voldy is working Dual SIM is working, fingerprint scanner is working, camera is working, everything else which you can expect is working and also we can get this new look in the notification tray and also in the recent stocks panel. So we are getting everything on Redmi Note 3. So for this let us start with how MIUI 10 runs on our Redmi Note 3 and also let us check out those minor bugs first and then I'll show you how you can install this on your Redmi Note 3. So as you can see the recent stocks panel is buttery smooth without any lag whatsoever you can see over here it is not lagging and the rom is absolutely smooth as butter so as you can see we don't face any lag and also we get the new recent stocks panel with the new brightness slider which looks cool and i can say that our redmi note 3 being a uh, phone two years old and it's not a mid-range phone it's a budget line phone but still it is handling MIUI 10 so smoothly so if Xiaomi is watching this video guys please do update this Redmi Note 3 to MIUI 10 as you can see MIUI 10 is working absolutely fine on our Redmi Note 3 so it deserves the update right so as you can see from here if we get into this screen we have the me ai assistant but if you tap on it it won't do anything as because it's only available in china so it won't work over here but still it is there as on me max rom it was there so it has been ported from that and that's it everything works without any issues as you can see on the settings this is me ui 10 running on the redmi note 3 with the android nougat so whatever it is we get the nougat update with this rom as on redmi note 3 we were stuck with marshmallow so you get me ui 10 as well as android nougat with this ported rom on our redmi note 3 and also we have got the new camera over here where we get the 4k recording on the video as you can see on the video settings we get image stabilization over here as well as 4K 30 FPS recording. For this process, you need a Windows PC. And first of all, what you need to do, you just need to get into the description and to download all the files which I'll provide in the description. And once you download all the files and keep it on a folder, you will get something like this. So first of all, you need to install this, which is ADB setup 1.4.3.exe. You need to run this. You need to press Y, you need to press Y again, Y. So three times you need to press Y. Once done, click on next and it will complete the installation. So this is the driver basically which we had installed on our computer. Once done, tap on finish, it will automatically close. And then you need to install this minimal ADB fast boot setup.exe. So this is what i had already installed so once you install this you will get a folder on your c drive then program files x86 and you'll get the minimal adb and fast boot folder so here you can see this is the folder which you'll get after installing this file which is minimal adb fast boot so once you're done with that over here you will also get the twrp.img file you just need to copy this and you need to paste it over to the minimal adb and fastboot folder which you will get on c drive so you just need to paste this over here and once done then you need to rename this to only twrp now 
we need to bring our phone and here you can see this is our phone this is the redmi note 3 and it is running on miui 9 and this is the developer rom which i'm using on this phone now make sure that before installing this you need to have an unlocked bootloader on your phone and if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader on your redmi note 3 then you will get the guide on the description so once you had unlocked the bootloader on this phone you need to get into the settings and additional settings and then over here you'll get developer options and on the me unlock status here you can see it is unlocked so you have to make sure that it is unlocked so once the bootloader is unlocked you have to enable oem unlocking and usb debugging from here then you need to power off the phone now once the phone is powered off tap and hold the volume down and the power button together until you see the fast boot screen on your phone so i'll just connect the usb cable now once done connecting the usb cable over here on this folder so you just need to tap and hold the shift key and then you need to right click on this folder and you'll get this option called open command window here just tap on this first of all we'll be entering fast boot devices and if you get this number over here now we are ready to install the twrp recovery on our phone so for that we need to enter this command fast boot flash recovery then we had renamed the file to twrp.img you need to enter that name over here wrp.img once done tap on enter now we need to press and hold the volume up button and the power button now so these two buttons we need to tap and hold and until we get into the twrp recovery now once you see the screen on the twrp recovery you need to swipe to allow modifications so now before that make sure you back up the rom file which is installed so for that get into backup and swipe to backup so by the time it gets backed up, still being on the TWRP mode, we can access the storage of our phone. So from the My Computer, you will get your phone name and from here we'll be getting into micro SD card which is there on our phone and over here we'll be copying and pasting the files the files which you need to copy and paste on your SD card over here is the MIUI ROM file no verity file these two files and also the volte patch if the volte is not working for you and you need to paste this anywhere on your micro sd card you can create any folder over here or you can just paste it over here we have a empty folder new folder too i'll just paste it over here in this folder now from this menu first of all we need to get into wipe and then advanced wipe and then select delvic system data cache and then swipe to wipe so now once done we will tap on install and now we'll be getting into the micro sd card where we had pasted the file new folder 2 over here and now we'll be selecting the, these two files we'll be not selecting the volte patch for the first time if volte doesn't work on the miui 10 rom then we'll be flashing this but for the first time we'll be selecting this one and add more zip and no verity file once done swipe to confirm flash okay so now as we are done with installing the rom file as well as the novelty file we'll just simply tap on reboot system so for the first boot it might take around 5 to 10 minutes so i'll come back when this gets over so as you can see the phone has booted up and first it shows the device is locked and we need to log in with an existing me account for this to unlock so we'll be tapping on the wlan settings as because for logging in we need to connect to the internet all right once connected get back and tap on activate this device now you need to enter your existing me account id and password over here so i'll quickly enter the password so once you're done activating your device you will get the miui 10 screen from here i'll quickly set up the device now as you can see that this rom is not in chinese and it's an english language and i'll quickly set this up for the first time and i'll come back when this setup is over all right so the setup is complete and we are ready to rock so here we can see the limitless theme of Mi UI 10 and it's running on our Redmi Note 3. So as you can see we got the new notification panel as well as the new volume UI as you can see 
but first of all let me just show you something which is really awesome as this rom comes with play store pre-installed you just need to log into your account and there you can see we can access play store and from here you can download anything so guys there you can see that we had restarted our phone and also had installed two sim cards and both of them i can see that tower is coming over here that means that both of the sim cards is working one is geo and one is vodafone it has been detected it is working volt is enabled over here but i don't think that volt is working i'll quickly call that number again There you can see the call is getting ended that means the volt is not working so for that we'll be getting into the recovery again and we will be fixing this with the fix file the zip file which we had copied earlier all right so once we are in the recovery i'll tap on install and i'll quickly install that file and this is the file volt patch i'll swipe to confirm flash so I'll quickly tap on reboot system and I'll come back when the system gets rebooted back to me UI 10. So there you can see we have got the HD icon just beside the Geo network. So that means Volti will work now. So let's check out by calling a number. Call again on that number and now let's check out whether it's working or not. And there you can see guys it is working without any issues. So I'll show you guys by calling from Vodafone number as well. There you can see it is working without any problem. And guys that was it for the installation of MIUI 10 running Android 7.0 Nougat on our Redmi Note 3. And as you know that all the download links of the ROM file as well as the Volti patch and all other zip files will be provided down below in the description box. So definitely check out the description. And that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to your channel and make sure to subscribe to your Hindi channel. Links will be provided down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.